Hello, I'm going to take you on a journey to the land of my ancestors, the Caucasus Mountains, to where the real Caucasians come from. Sit back and enjoy. The history of the Caucasus at times is bloody and long, but it's old and old as time. So here is the land of my ancestors. jump into where the caucus is. I'm going to start off with my old 1904 atlas to show you accurately with good pictures where the caucus is located in Asia. Well here we are, we're looking at Asia now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go over here. You can see the same section as the caucus mountains right in there. You can see this section right in here. That is the caucus between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. It's just up the, the mountain range. We built towers, we built citadels, we fought wars, we raided other people, and they raided us. This is why the Russians called us the Wild Ones. We were not like them, we were a different people, still are today. Sometimes we were still like our ancestors, not that much different than those who came before us. different than our ancestors as we may think. As shown here, a statue to me? No, maybe one of my ancestors. Ah, the Citadel, a place of many stories. And as old as time, thousands of years, I've leaned against these walls that have seen lives again, thousands of years, built by the Persians to try and contain us. We had crafts, as any people do, we made pottery, we made rugs, we made the things we need. Our people did not dress as Europeans do. We had our own dress, still do today, that makes us unique and who we are as a people. We had our own customs, beliefs, followings, and ideals. We're a brave bunch willing to fight no matter what. We believe in bravery, at least have the courage and the strength not to give up if you can't win. See it through to the end. Kind of a rough bunch when you look at us. We're not spit and polish, but we'll get the job done. We don't like European things. We're closer to the Asians than we are to anybody else. We live differently. We built our homes high on the mountains. That way, we safe in the mountains, we wouldn't get raided. This is how we lived, very simple. 
very effective for living in the mountains. It was warm in the winter and cool in the summer. They made tapestries and it were traded to far and away lands, all the way to China. We lived simply and we lived in harmony as best as we could in the, in the life in the mountains. Life in the mountains was never easy, so we had to figure out how to make the best of it. We had good weather and we had rough weather. As times the snows came, we had to stay warm. Because we were amazingly herders, we had to make sure that with the winters and such that we were able to survive. So we had, we bred our own dog. These dogs we've been breeding for 5,000 years, the archaeologists say, and we still breed them today. Big furry beasts that are loyal to the bone. We are warriors at heart, ready to fight, from the old to the young, and still remember those who came before us and the sacrifices they made. We're not much different if you think about it from each other. We are definitely not European. This man could easily be my cousin. I met him on my travels. You think that we were brothers. Maybe we are from another mother. We have great beauty and old history. Two go together as one nurtures the other. Long stories of people being there are my ancestors. And I bid you a thank you and goodbye for watching my film.